Hey you guys, unfortunately, I meant unfortunately, I'm in a hospital and they assess my port. Um, I'm in a hospital for sickle cell crisis. My back, my back, my knee, and my hip just didn't bother me so bad. Like I broke down and cried on the bathroom floor. My mom was about to call the ambulance. I told her I didn't want to go to my neighborhood hospital. I only went to, like, I only can come to Penn because they got my pain contract, they got my medicines, all my doctors here in one connection, and I don't be feeling like that Roddy Rally virus stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm here, and they just test me for COVID. I know I'm negative. Prayers. Um, they do that so they know where to put you at when they admit you upstairs. But I'm just going to vlog, like, my hospital stay. So y'all could just see like what I gotta deal with, how I'm feeling, because I'm not able to be home to record videos. Even though I got videos pre-uploaded, I like to be on the ball. I still like to grind hard and you know, still work through all the pain I'm having. I won't record myself crying and not when I really can't focus, but y'all will see glimpses of my hospital visit for sure. This is my girlfriend Jojo. We've been friends. We've been friends since like eight years old. <laughs> we went to sickle cell camp, camp together. We go to the same hospital now. She's getting discharged. I go home tomorrow. This life is not fun at all. It's not, but we definitely gonna do some more videos together. Well, we both full of healthy and stuff. Back quarantine over, we got be looking good and everything too. Mm -hmm. Can't be looking rough. Yeah, cause so I look crazy right now. No, I don't match at all. <laughs> I don't even like pink, girl. But yeah, this is what simple sellers do. When we see each other in the hospital, we no just ports. team ports. Yeah, it's nice to have people that you can relate to though for a fact. It's definitely nice having people to relate to yeah. and talk to. Because they understand what you're going through. Same, not kind of same mindset, but just deal with the same shit in life. Like, so, yeah, it's good. Always have somebody. Have somebody, they got somebody. Have somebody. They got somebody. Because everybody needs somebody. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but like I said, y'all gonna see her in more videos coming soon. Period. Everybody be healthy. Stay safe. This Stay coronavirus safe. Is, is real. It's real. Luckily, no matter how many times we've been in here, we haven't gotten it. They've they been, they been doing their job here at Penn. Thank mm -hmm. God. But... She gotta go, and I'm about to take a nap. So, she'll see y'all later. later. I'm making this video right now because, like, I'm, I'm trying not to cry, but, but like, I'm really, like, depressed in here. Like, like people don't understand like how it feels to just keep going back and forth to the hospital and you just want to be at home with your family you just want to be with you know friends you know the friends that love you and support you 
like I don't know like I like I really hate it in here I hate coming here because it's like you know I want to be home with my family hey like, and then like this whole thing this whole when I gotta get this surgery done on my hip it's like I don't know it's, it's just bothering me like I'm in here thinking like there's so many things I just I gotta do to make myself more healthy, make myself better. Cause being in this hospital is not it, and it's so hard, and people don't understand. Like I just miss like one of my friends, baby gen gender reveal because I'm in here, and like I felt so bad because like you know like I want to be there to support you. And I can't. Um, this is just a lot. Like, people don't understand, but I know, like, I'm strong. I know I can fight. I can fight it. I can fight how I'm feeling because I'm strong. I'm a strong ass person, and nobody can't take that away from me. Like, I fight every day. Like, I fight, I fight this illness every day. I fight it. And, it, and sometimes I'm, I'm tired. Like, I get exhausted. But I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong for my family. I'm staying strong for my godson. I'm staying strong for my niece. Because I want to see him. I want to see him grow up. I just want my health to be better so I can live a better life because you know when I'm in pain I feel I feel less of a person I feel burning bumping I feel weak and it's just it's just hard being in here just back to back to back like Pain medicine, the pain medicine. Like, I don't want this. Like this, this is not. I don't want this. And there was a time when, in high school, I was healthy. Like I was in the hospital probably like three times a year. Now I'm in here like every month. And right now I'm probably in here almost every other week because when the weather changed, my body go through like crazy stuff. But um, I know I'm strong. And I can't have that weak mindset. I gotta be strong. I gotta have the strength. Because if I let this thing get the best of me, you know, I'ma just be in a dark place forever. And I don't wanna be in that dark place. Like, I'm, I say my prayers. I talk to myself like, Ayana, you're strong. You can do this. Like, you can do this. You got, you got it. You got it, Ayana. I got it. Like, because if I let this thing take over, I can't. I can't let this thing take over me. I gotta be better than it. I can't. I gotta beat it. Like, I gotta just want so much. I just want so much better for myself. That's all. Hey, y'all. So, this is my breakfast. I just got my morning meds. I'm at the wash my face, brush my teeth, and um, wait till doctors come here and tell me what, this, what the 411 is. Hopefully, they'll let me go home sooner than later, because, like I said, I really want to go home. Like, I just really want to go home. <laughs> And then what you do is you just go to the oh, stool. Okay. And then from the stool, you do this like you get onto the chair. Okay. Now you can get up. That's so, it. Yeah, I have a stool in the house. So if you do that anytime. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I want some snacks. Like, I really want some snacks. But I'm gonna call for my pain medicine. And lay down. Like I said, hopefully I go home tomorrow. Like, I don't wanna rush home, but 
I don't want to be here. Like, I want to be home with my family. So. This is the call bill for my medicine. Hi, um, can you understand my pain medicine, please? Usually, the speaker be loud. Hopefully, she heard me. But, thanks for my pain medicine. Hope I have, like, a good night. I just want to go home and be with my family. If it's not tomorrow, definitely Monday. Definitely Monday.